the Laboratory for Particle Accelerator Physics, in short LPUB, at EPFL is fostering research on concepts for accelerators. My name is Mike Seidel and I'm working as a professor in this field at EPFL and at the Paul Scherer Institute near Zurich. Accelerators are used as tools for basic research in a variety of different applications. As an example, you can see here the linear accelerator that is driving the free electron laser facility Swiss FEL at PSI. Such accelerator-driven research infrastructures include also synchrotron light sources, neutron and muon sources, and particle collider facilities. In fact, all these different types of accelerator facilities are available in Switzerland. At LPUB, we have tight connections with CERN near Geneva. CERN is an international institution operating and developing the world-leading high-energy Large Hadron Collider, the LHC, which is a ring synchrotron with 27 km circumference. The Paul Scherer Institute focuses its research on condensed matter and precision particle physics experiments. Our LPUB contributions to the PSI facilities include, for example, beam dynamic studies using the free electron laser or contributions to a planned upgrade of the high-intensity proton accelerator. And we are aiming to connect our activities with the leading expertise that is available in various fields at EPFL. Our close ties with the institutions CERN and PSI open possibilities to do research on new concepts, both for operating facilities, but also for the next generation of particle accelerators. Dear students, my name is Tatiana Pieloni, and I'm a scientist at YELPAP. My main expertise is the design and study of high energy particle colliders. At LPAP, we are extremely lucky since we have almost next door the world's largest accelerator facility for energy physics, CERN. In this movie, I would like to show you that CERN in the Geneva area is not only LHC with its four experiments, but actually it has a very large accelerator complex. LPAP students can have access to these fascinating machines for the TP4 specialization and master projects. Everything starts from the particle sources, where in particular protons are produced from hydrogen atoms. Then a first linear machine, the LINAC4, accelerates them to an energy of 160 mega electron volts. From the LINAC4, protons travel to the first circular accelerator, the PS booster, four superimposed synchrotron rings that accelerate protons at every turn. From the booster, protons are then sent to the next accelerator, the proton synchrotron. The PS is CERN first synchrotron dated back to 1959. It is now a main injector to the larger machines, and it accelerates protons, but also heavy ion and many more particle species. Protons, after acceleration, continue their journey to the super proton synchrotron, a seven kilometer circumference machine that accelerates and prepares the beams for the collider. The proton beams at 450 giga electron volts are injected into the large Hadron Collider a 27 kilometer synchrotron that can accelerate and collide protons up to the unprecedented energies of 13.6 tera electron volts. The LHC has experimentally proved in 2012 the existence of the X particle. At LPAP, our experimental research and projects are done on site, either working on the operational accelerators or participating into the design of future ones, as for example, the future circular collider study sketched in this picture and many more as listed in this slide. Now let's listen to the impression of Manon and Samuel, two of our last semester students. Hello, my name is Manon. I'm in my second semester of master in applied physics. And for my project, I work in the laboratory of particle accelerator physics on the hollow electron lens, which is a new device that will be added to the collimation system of the high luminosity LHC and I do a lot of numerical simulation. For me, it's a great opportunity to work in this lab because first of all, the project takes place in CERN, so I can meet a lot of people who work there. And also for me, it's important to produce concrete results that can be useful for further research and which respond to real physical questions. 
My name is Samuel. I'm a master's student in physics at EPFL. I started to work at ALPUB in the framework of my specialization work project in the second year of my master. After a request from my side, I had the chance to start working for the advanced proton-driven plasma wake field acceleration experiment, also called AWAKE at CERN. It has the long-term goal to provide high-energy electrons for collision experiments. This project gave me the chance to make my first steps in a labor laboratory away from EPFL in an environment dedicated to research only. I got the chance to manipulate myself the for me necessary parts of the experiment and started to see what complex machines connected to even more complex and larger systems are needed in order to push the front line of today's research. More details can be found on our LPAP webpage as well as on the Swiss Institute of Accelerator Research webpage chart. For any further information, do not hesitate to contact us. We look forward to welcome you into the fascinating world of accelerators.